I have a lot of people ask how I make my damask tumblers, so I'm going to try and do a quick step-by-step. -step. There will probably be two or three videos to this tumbler, and the instructions will work for any tri-split tumbler. I start by measuring my sections. For a 30-ounce tumbler, I will normally do 5 inches at the top, 2 in the middle, and then whatever is left at the bottom. For a 20-ounce, I do 4 inches, 1 and a half inches, and then whatever's left. I mark my lines and then use them to lay my painter's tape straight. Now I didn't have any two inch tape, so I used my tool to trim the tape down to one and a half inches. I'm using a bare stainless steel tumbler for this one because my glitter is a silver color and the silver background works, but you will wanna base paint the top two sections of the tumbler with whatever color matches your glitter. The glitter I'm using on this tumbler is high maintenance from PDB, and they have an extra fine cut that I will use on top and a chunky cut that I will use in the middle section. I'm using the Tacket method on this cup. So the glue I used on this one is Tacky Pants Extra from Mr. Fancy Pants. I did two coats, letting it fully dry in between. I then applied the glitter and burnished it down until it was smooth. I covered the top section in saran wrap and then I sprayed my bottom section black for the next part. For my stripes, I wanted a color that somewhat matched my glitter, so I added a little Majestic Mauve Dispersion color from CCDIY, along with some Cosmic Mica and Extra Fine High Maintenance Glitter from PDB to my epoxy. I made up about 30 milliliters of epoxy and separated it out into two cups, with about 20 mils for the black and about 10 mils for my stripes. I don't like a ton of movement in this section, so I think I used about 10 to 12 mils initially and kept the rest of the black to add into my design later after I made my stripes. The key to this part is to not chase your tumbler. Make your stripes on a diagonal and let the turner do the work for you. If you don't get as much on as you want, just wait for it to come around again and add some more. This whole part is kind of a trust the process thing. Sometimes I'll use my finger to swipe my stripes, sometimes I use a popsicle stick or silicone tool. It's really up to you how you want it to look. If you put something on and don't like it, that's fine. You can wipe that part off with your finger and try again. Once I have my stripes on, I then take some of the chunky mix that I will use in the middle section and sprinkle some on that same diagonal line. Remember for both the stripes and the sprinkles that less is more and that as it spins, it will change a little bit. I'll be back in part two to show you how I ensure my peekaboos and pinstripes are perfectly placed.